not to mess around this time. No, sir. Go right for it. Uh, that's a terrific look. After doing the casting show, I decided to come on here and wear this, and you would never be able to ask me why I look like this. I mean, what would be the point, really? No, you look, you know, see, I... <laughs> How would you describe that? I would describe it as, like, fab. I'm sorry? <laughs> fab? Fab, F-A-B. Oh, fab, F-A-B. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, number shirt, which is selling very well. And uh, we also have the boy George Cabbage doll. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, now Shut up. <laughs> it, it, Shut up. It, <laughs> when, I, uh, when I want your opinion, I'll give it to you, okay? That's right. <laughs> uh, Actually, I have something for you to put on, because you look really boring, so put this on. Come on, make him put it on. This is great. Now, is this an expensive uh, piece we have on here? To you, it would be. <laughs> that looked very nice, that uh, uh, video, as they say. Thank you. Uh, before we uh, go any farther, I was leafing through one of uh, New York City's uh, finest daily newspapers today. And what, what kind of reaction did you get from your family? Tell me about your family. What, what kind of... What kind of folks? Uh, well, my family it? are very intelligent, and they don't laugh at people when they're in studios. You know? Ah, see. <laughs> and they basically, you know, my parents couldn't give a damn, really. You know, I call myself Boy George because basically I'm a very masculine person. <laughs> I'm more of a man than any of you, anyway. And uh, basically, <laughs> I like people to hear the song and kind of add another dimension. So I call myself Boy George because most people thought I was Brooke Shields. <laughs> and uh, I'm kind of trying to sort of, you know, confuse people a bit. Yes. <laughs> Good to see you. We've never met before. I've seen you perform before. It's, uh, it's different. I met you when you were in drag last time I was on the show. Well, <laughs> no, that was Joan Rivers. You thought I was made up? No, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> because you are rather controversial. It's, it's, it's something new that... Uh, mm, you... But after, like, three years of seeing me, you'd think that people were a bit used to me by now, you know? Yeah. I mean, in a country that has Liberace, I'm hardly revolutionary, am I? You know? Yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> there you go. No. But, but no, I, I was, because I, I was beginning to think it was a bit of a scam, you know, that like every time you wanted a bit of publicity for your more protein label, you think, hey, I'll give him the biography. I'm not here to talk about my book. I mean, I've got a record out. I'm not here to talk about my book. Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> George, you're not actually a fan, are you, of uh, rap or hip-hop music? Who said that? 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 Well, you know, I mean, the image. You're not a fan of the image. I like betrayed. rap music, but I don't like the homophobic aspect of rap at all. I don't like the fact that they don't like queers. <laughs> but it doesn't... <laughs> having said that, no, having said that, that does exist in rock and roll as well. But obviously, you know, um, it is a big issue with, with, um, with rap. It was a bedspread. I spotted it in Barcelona, on a bed, in a shop, in a furniture shop, and I had to have it. I made this outfit especially for you. It's wonderful. <laughs> You're not going to give it to me, though? Oh, no. no well, gonna... not the outfit. No. I... <laughs> 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 up you, but would you, do you prefer men or women? I'm just curious. Oh, both. That's fabulous. Like you? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> No. I prefer anyone who has me. That's oh, the truth. Oh, you're so attractive. Thanks, like flypaper. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> well, I said that when we started the band, yeah. Kissing to be Clever was basically um, all about how we felt, you know, about black and white music. Rock and roll was, was stolen from the blacks. Mm -hmm. And I think basically that influence is something that's always been denied, you know, in music. I mean, obviously, you know, there are a lot of black artists who are extremely successful. But I'm just, I'm just talking about the way certain artists always pretend that their music is very original, when most music is basically, basically from black people. The special fans conference at the Siebel, organised by The Sun and Terry Willisie tonight, certainly showed George to be as colourful in person as he is on stage. Hi, I just wondered, like, I think you've got a really good voice. I just wondered why you have to dress up to be a girl to get attention. I mean, do you like it? Or do you think... First of, all, first of all, you're wearing a man's shirt and a man's jumper. So 
So, are you dressed as a boy? <laughs> this is the, the problem, you know. Um, we did a press conference last week, and a woman dressed as a man, well, by the logical terms of their dressing, she was dressed as a man, and she asked me the same question. Um, I'm not dressed as a woman because I don't wear brassiere, yeah. and I wear wire fronts, <laughs> and... Uh, a Apology is a really insulting tag for a yes, homosexual. Yes, he, he said himself this morning, <laughs> yeah. he was a puffter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think... It could be a gay, a queer, be... it could be a gay, a queer, or a fag. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mary. Thank you. I... <laughs> if you can't speak, if you can't speak, I can't learn. I'll never grow. Hector Sexuality's finest moment. I love him. I love him. <laughs> I love him. You do? I do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even now I'm a pufter. <laughs> when they said, are you bisexual? I said, yeah, when I want sex, I have to buy it. You know, are you homosexual? Yeah, I have sex at home. It's, you know, completely. It's, it was a lot better. From the point of view that, you know, the stage. Do you look like his looks? Or... No, no, he looks fantastic. He looks like a sort of old, sort of Steve McQueen type. You know, he looks very good for his age. You know, he doesn't look unattractive. But I find the stage a bit boring, you know. It's all a bit sort of, you know, um, he doesn't move around at all. I mean, obviously, he's nearly 70, so that's understandable. But I would have liked it to be more like um, a TV special, you know, with all dancers and vaudeville and just a lot more going on. Because I think you really do need something to make up for the, the lack of movement, you know. Um, but obviously, most people here, uh, you know, I've loved him for years, whatever. And it's a real event for them. I mean, it's great for me to be able to see him, you know sort of Frank Sinatra, you know, it's quite nice, you know, because I mean, when I was a kid, my parents used to have Frank Sinatra records playing, you know. But speechless isn't the word you'd use to describe Boy George's behaviour. Oh, darling. It must be a bit irritating okay. being photographed the whole time, isn't well, it's it? Well, just because I don't know if I treat you like an animal, and it's just really... George's angry. anger was directed know, at the hordes nice. of America. <laughs> Do you, um, worry that you'll have to change your image in order to sort of, uh, keep people's interest going, or have you always looked like this? Well, I don't think I have an image anyway. I mean, I just dress up. I'm an eccentric, and that's that. I haven't got an image. I'm not sort of a corny pop star. Mm. I mean, I was walking around like this, you know, five years ago. Just because I happen to have a record, that doesn't mean that I'm, you know, exploiting my image. I'm just naturally beautiful. Don't forget to say hello to my mum. <laughs> oh, hello, Mary's mum. Hello. <laughs> not only did they not know what you looked like, they didn't know what sex you were earlier on. Yeah, well, I like that, you know. It's quite good. He's not sure yet, are you? No, I'm not sure either. No. Nor she. She kissed me earlier. <laughs> yeah. God, this show's a quagmire of filth. Ecco, a questo punto, che cosa dobbiamo dire? Io non so se capisce quello che io dico. Do you understand what I say? No. no, you haven't understood anything. Well, I was telling them that uh, you have been voted the best male singer and best female singer. This is what's written here, you know. So I was trying to find out uh, which one do you prefer? Both. Male singer? Both. Both you yes. prefer both. I Dice, prefer versatile. a me va benissimo tutti e due, maschio e femmina. Vamos, il personaggio con il grande cilindro. What is your name? Mikey, Mikey, where do you come from? Eh? London. From London, <laughs> I see. I thought you came from Jamaica. No. No, Jamaica. <laughs> Perché c'è un po' di musica jamaicana in questa musica, mi sembra, c'è un suono. You know, I mean, in the way artists in the 80s dictated their own art form, and I think now it feels like things are much more formula. You know, there's a formula to becoming famous, to making a record. You know, everybody seems to be making the same record now. Do you know what I mean? Everybody wants a piece of the same pie. Nobody's really, really fighting to be an individual. Even someone like Lady Gaga, who looks great, the music could be Calvin Harris, it could be David Guetta. It's all very similar sounding. You know, there seems to be, we live in the age of the pop formula. You know, and I think, in a way, that's why people look back at the 80s, because people were doing it for themselves, you know, they were kind of doing their own thing. No, well, you did wear a dress just as well, because if they'd seen you in a dress... I don't wear dresses. Yeah, well, you know them long... I don't wear dresses. Aren't they dresses? No, oh. they're called cassocks. Oh. Priests wear those. Yeah. yeah. And they're different, are they? Yes, they are different, actually. Oh. Well, would you call a uh, priest a transvestite? Would you go and ask him why he's wearing a dress? Of course not. Well, so... Yeah. just answered your question. Yeah. Bluff! Bluff! Yeah! Can you kick a ball? I've no desire to kick a ball. I've got better things to do with my balls. <laughs>